Good day ladies and gentlemen and my name is Cornish Knight and welcome to Pixel Piracy. For those of you who may not realise I come from Cornwall and we have a rather long history of piracy and smuggling so I thought I'd give this game a go and see what I thought of it. Now let's see, let's start a new game. So call her Jane, let's go with Jane Morgan again. I do like Jane Morgan. Morgan was a famous pirate to call the world Colonel, but it's normal difficulty disabled tutorial. Let's dive right in. Right, these three basically affect what you get. You get like more monsters and encounters, like more islands I believe. Basically this, this all does stuff. Now I can't remember off, off the top of my head exactly what it does, but let us go with more monsters because that's exciting. More ship encounters, plague is a nasty one because your character constantly loses health. And long dangerous nights means that when you're travelling at sea you're likely to run into stuff, more likely to run into stuff. Let's just go with more ship encounters. Now I have read the wiki and they've advised like, oh go with the falcon blade, go with the extra gold, but I do like the alcoholic pirate because it's, it's nice to have an extra set of hands on board. Let's change the look. Let's go with her, shall we? It's one of her colour that stands out. Purple it is. If you can't already guess, I used to play Sliness when I used to when I used to play Warhammer. So one for the K, loved playing Sliness. Really interesting army, but so we dive right in. Basically, the whole premise of this game is that we've got four legendary pirates, and we have to kill them to become famous. I'm gonna put two into strength and two into vitality. And he'll have one end to vitality because I want them to sort of try and live as long as possible. So. Get our crew and go off. We've got 20 gold. I love the music in this game. Just listen to it. That's an experiment for me. Adios. So you, I can, I can end up getting completely addicted just listening to, um, my my um, crew members sort of like listening to music. Wait, have I got a? Sorry, crew. What am I armed with? A knife. I shall take that. Okay, I can't. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Adios. Yeah, you can die really easily in this game just because of bad dice rolls. Um, this game has a similar like RPG mechanic. It is dungeon like Adios. in certain regards. I mean. As you can see, like you up your hit percentage and dodge percentage chance and stuff. I mean, I've I've died from tortoises in this game before. It's that brutal. This it doesn't really hold back at all. And before anyone calls the RSPCA or Peter or anything like that, the um, the reason I killed the cat was that animals in this game, unless you have a particular piece of equipment, are, are relatively pointless, and they normally give you XP or items that you can use. So it's rather worthwhile killing them, unfortunately. Let's see what we've got. Three islands we don't know about. Moscow, Ernest, Watson, and we've got a pirate encounter. Let's go and steal some stuff from other pirates, shall we? Right, this is the movement mechanic. When you go between spaces, you're basically on your boat, and you can see I'm guiding my characters about, um, and they will eat and drink and defecate 
and all the other fun, fun things that goes with being a pirate and a human being, unfortunately. So, Adios. who are we up against? Captain pa Parkson. Let's Adios. go after him. I do like this um, the aesthetic of the game. It's really quite nice. I like how the sun is like greatly dismissive. What was that? We got something different, I believe. Adios. Let's grab this. Grab this loot, and we shall keep going, shall we? Let's hold on, and we will Adios. plunder the ship. Basically, when you plunder the ship, you get building resources and money, which is very useful. So, yeah, I'm sorry if any of, any of the background noise. I have some people walking around in the house at the moment. It's a bit off-putting, so where are we? My crew. Ah, this is an ability book. You can equip them, give them to your characters. Passive items. Like this, see? And you automatically get a particular combination. And unfortunately, I think I used up the treasure map as well, which is not particularly fantastic. Unfortunately, we can't use the treasure map at the moment. Yeah, you can see this. Because we don't have... Um, to be honest, we don't have a shovel. Yeah, I know, it's very very Zelda-esque, but you can't dig up treasure without a shovel in this game, so... Actually, wait, can you? Oh no, we can, we can dig it up. My mistake. I was getting confused with another game you needed to have a shovel to dig up treasure. Now the reason we're going back here is I believe there is, yes, there's a... skill shop. Because there's a really important skill book that you need in this game, excuse me. Um, you can equip skills and passive items and stuff to your to your crew and there's a number of basic skills that are... That, where is it? Seriously, I don't have enough to, not, um, don't have enough to buy it. <sighs> Forget everything in this game is basic 200. Yeah, basically, as you can see, the skill that I wanted to pick up is toilet cleaning because Adios. apparently my crew members are completely incompetent and they can't clean up their own fecal matter, which is not fantastic. Adios. So it's it is a very good game. I mean, there are some things I wish they would have improved in it, like just like if you hover over explaining, for example, if I went to the game and hovered over like this exactly what it did because I know they all impact your characters in some way but it's never actually explained to you in game how they do it so it's like oh yeah he's a, he's a pirate he's a, a lawyer he's this he's that and it's like doesn't quite explain to you what's going on disappointing looking son at me always judgmental like, for example, this will bring down your character's um, morale and stuff as well, getting rained on. If I pause for a second, look. Better than comfortable morale drain 25% faster. Adios. Let's jump ashore and kill this crab. It's a very angry looking Arnold he her. He her. Arnold he her. Right, killed the crab. Got some crab meat, which is, a, which is basically Adios. a healing item. And it's got me bleeding. Seriously, bleeding from a crab. Let's take him, shall we? That's unusual, I've never had that happen before. So... We've got another crew member straight off the bat, let's just see what he's like. Arnold Hare. Depressive. Uh, yeah, not fantastic. He seems to be more set up for sort of like, range combat than he does... Yeah, he seems to be more set up for ranged combat than he does um, close combat. But we haven't got any close combat weapons, Adios. let's just smash up some stuff. Adios. 
yeah, like I said before, this it, it's very much in this that you're trying to get loot and treasure and build your ship and build your crew and it's a very good game. I enjoy it. It's fun. It just doesn't take itself too seriously. Once you get later on, when you're firing off cannons and there's like massive ships with like 30 people or 50 people, and it is really, really cool. And it's just a funny little game. I have turned down like the background music and stuff in it just because the background music can be quite loud. Like the actual in-game music is quite loud, and I just wanted to enjoy. Japan. Seriously, there's a place called Japan. Let's just see what's in Japan. They've always wanted to go to Japan, actually. Fant fascinating country and culture. Huge fan. Got into it at a really young age from reading travel books and just bits and pieces. Even before, like, I know most people would say, oh, he got into it because he read manga and stuff. I was like, no, I got into it from a lot of other reasons, actually. What have we got here? Mm. Oyster. There's not a lot. There's a weapon shop, but I don't really want to sell any of my weapons. I'll send the crew to the tavern. Bloke selling food. Your hunger bar goes down and they'll, they'll end up eating the, the watermelon supply you've got here, basically. Just getting Jane to smash up. Yep, there she goes. I need to get her a better weapon. So important that I get her a better weapon. Unfortunately, I need to get the toilet skill because it's doing the cleanup skill because it's really necessary in this game. Put down some blocks. This is basically the building mechanic where the green dots are, you can put blocks to build your ship. And now I just want to make the ship have a piece that goes over the top so it's covered from the rain because this morale will be killing us. Come on, come on, come on. This is the bit I always sort of found slightly tedious is getting back to the ship. But no, as I as I said I love this game. Piracy and sort of smuggling was like a massive part of my home county for a very long time because we are across the channel from Brittany and sort of like Normandy region. So there you go, you see Jane munching on a piece of watermelon. But also the fact that my crew are continuing to defecate all over my deck, which is not fantastic. Now here we go. Let's pop over to this encounter. Hopefully we'll get enough gold to build our boat a bit more. And we shall press on. Yeah, there's the moon. Yeah, the morale is going down at the pace now. We need to get something engage in combat. Captain Adios. Kurtz. Stormboat. The good thing with... Ah, I got a hammer, finally. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the hammer, but... Oh, we leveled up. Let's put a... Put one into dexterity. One into dodge chance. Dexterity basically ups, like, bonus range damage and stuff, so it's good to have at low level. We'll give her the hammer. See, look, range, not much range, it's rank 3, damage per second is 3.9. Seriously? Oh. That's because it's leveled up through use. I'm going to stick with the hammer. I know it sounds strange, but... Okay, this is basically my reasoning behind this, folks, is the fact that if I use the knife, I have to get up really close to them to use it. So they've got to basically beat the living daylights out of me in the process because a lot of people use farther, further reaching weapons. So, well, imagine it. if someone comes at you with a knife and you've got basically, say, an axe, you stand a lot better chance of winning the initial fight. If they can get close to you, they're extremely dangerous.
There we go, library of wisdom. Let's go to go and grab Hiya. the cleaning skill. They're extremely dangerous. I mean, if you look at medieval martial art manuals, a lot of the instructors basically say, beware people using knives because they are like the king of weapons. Because they are so hard to block. Send my crew to the tavern. I shall run to the item shop. And by the way, yes, you can actually like attack and kill people on land, like extra crewmates, and you can you do get thieves and stuff like that. But I haven't encountered it before. It might have been an earlier build of the game. Now, where is it? Cleaning. Here we go. While we're at it, we'll sell the oyster cell. See, a lot of the items aren't worth a hell of a lot. It's just better to. Where's? We'll give it to someone who's. We'll give it to Hawker. There we go. Cleaning. So is our initial problem. Adios. And while we're at it, we'll just stick a little bit of wood in our boat, which means if they want to, they can stand there out Adios. of the rain and stay a bit dry. Doesn't help anything else, but hey ho, it's worth a shot. I think we've got time for one more shorty into the great blue. And there you go, you've got Hawker, I believe. Yeah, he should any minute now to suddenly decide that he doesn't like. I like the mess, and he should clean it up, hopefully. If not, I'm going to be massively and royally enraged. Adios. Go to an island. The islands are very mixed bags in my mixed bags in my um experience. They can be really powerful, but at the same time, they can be absolute death traps. Come on, clean up. Just letting the crew, letting the crew sort of think. Yeah, there you go. See, look, he's throwing all the. The poo is throwing all the mess up overboard, so that's good. Let's see if we got a pirate, treasure chest, and a crate. See, it's a very mixed lot what you get with these. Um, that was, I believe, Hawker throwing a rock and knocking on Contus. And here Adios. comes. One thing I do like about the hammer, it has, it has massive, massive sniper shot. Let's see what it is. Bigger weapon range. Hmm, I'll hold on for it for now. Pay the crew. Adios. Pretty much covered our costs. 40 gold and a small elixir. We also jump them. Jump aboard our boat. Adios. And actually, wait, yeah. Now we jump aboard a boat, we should be fine. I think that's all we've got time we've got to have for today, ladies and gentlemen. I will be posting Adios. another episode shortly, and there should be another episode of the final station to accompany this as well. So, I shall catch you all next time. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at the links provided below. I've been Cornish Knight, and I shall catch you on our next piratey adventure. Good day.